I think you almost got me. You know what I'm saying? You almost got me, but your list was solid as shit. I yeah, yeah. Know, forget the games, but you you know how I'm gonna do it. But but yeah, your list was solid as shit. <laughs> Yes, you sir. know, it's it's nice to hear some uh some positivity from a partner yeah. over there. <laughs> Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Sure. You had a good list too, though. We we're gonna make sure we, we take it to the next level, man. We're gonna do a tier list now for the receivers. Cause not only are we gonna talk corners today, we're gonna talk receivers in the lead, dog. And I mean, I put together a little tier list of some receivers, man. Come on, man. Y'all already know what time it is. Y'all are at the mm. tailgate experience. Make sure y'all uh y'all like the video. Wide receiver, man. I, hey, look, this right here gonna be fun, man. You know the cornerbacks, oh, yeah. they, you know, them, them, them blue collar guys, they hard works, but these damn wide receivers, man. That's that's what I'm into right there. I'm into that shit. Well, it's gonna be good you, right here. You see, right here, we got them listed as special. Then we got A's, B's, C's, mm -hmm. D's. We gonna put letter. Letter grades on a majority of these guys. F is for trash. D is for you about damn near close to it. Uh, and then, you know, we're going we gonna to make it do what it do. So special mm -hmm. category to me, perennial pro bowlers, all mm -hmm. pros, that number one, their team go as they go. Like uh, I'm going to just give you all an example, like a Devontae Adams or a Justin Jefferson. You know, they are their franchise. Yeah. So, sure. without further ado, Stefan Diggs just newly traded to the Houston Texans. Where would you put Stefan Diggs? Stefan Diggs, right, right now. Um, hey man, you start off with a good one, Q. Um, yes, sir. He's no longer in the special category. If you asked me about maybe a year or two ago, I probably would have put him up there with special. He's not in special I, right now. I, just, just how I've been feeling about him lately. I want to put him in B, but I'm gonna give him enough credit to say he's an A, an A wide receiver. Um, All right. It's coming out here lately that him and Josh Allen had some shit going on, but right now I think his mouth bigger than what he do on the field. I'm, let's, let's keep him in A, but but I, I might slide him down to B. What what you think? I think um, he's a guy. Number one, he can always get behind the coverage. Uh, when corners try to press him, he'll make you pay for it. Even at the tender age of 30, he still has that it factor. And if you deliver the ball to him, he can make plays happen. Now, we have seen him had critical drops this past offseason when they needed him the most. You let, Let's take back to Buffalo when they were playing in the, um, playing for the AFC. I think that was against, oh, God, that last game that Buffalo had. He dropped a wide open touchdown. Yeah, yeah. The Buffalo Bills, right? and this is crazy because, yeah, him and him and Allen had they 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 ways, but I still think that that's something that they could have worked on. I think that's something they could have worked through it because they were a good team. I mean, but you got to know when to fold them. You got to know when to hold them. You, you got to know, know when to. Mm -hmm. He ain't used to with my quarterback now, so he needed that the, the running his mouth shit, man. He's gonna have to fall in line because right now CJ don't need him. He need he needs CJ to get his damn name back, which is you know, his name is his name. Can't argue his career, but right now, in order to get back to where he was, he needs CJ. So hopefully he go there with, with the humble mouth and, and don't don't start that shit. When has he ever had the humble mouth? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Think about sure. it now. Think about it. they lost to KC. That's what, that was game versus them KC when they lost 27-24. But they, they he had a chance to really catch a big ball and make a difference in that game. And and to yeah. me, that's the last taste of Tyreek. I mean, not Tyreek, but that's the last taste of Stephon Diggs that I saw. Yeah, and I know um, you know, Gabe Davis won't even get an attention. Like I said, I think Josh Allen gonna be able to work with the scraps that he had left once they draft him a guy. I think I think we're gonna see it's more Josh than him, but I, I can't argue somebody saying it was Diggs because Diggs did it in Minnesota. You know what I'm saying? But but right now he just he not on that special tier. He he, he a little bit under that. Like I said, I might would put him on B, but we're gonna we're gonna see how it shake out. We're gonna see how it shake out. Yeah. Well, next up is his boy right here, Gabe Davis. You just had mentioned him. We'll go ahead and see where where do you want to put him? Yeah, is he that upper me. echelon or is he that next tier? Nah, man, he's Reggie as hell. Um, he's not a bad wide receiver. Don't get me wrong. He's made big plays. Um, just to start out, if you want to put him at B, 
yeah, that, that's that's fine. But once we get into the guys, his ass gonna slide the hell down. But but he's a solid good wide receiver. Gabe Davis a deep threat. I like Gabe Davis. Yeah, another guy um, they didn't resign, but you know, I think he specializes in doing one thing. He's not a fully complete wide receiver. He's not a guy that you look at Stephon Diggs. He is the speed threat. He is the guy that can go in the slot. He is the X that can go out and run any route. So Gabe Davis isn't that guy. To me, I think he's a C type of receiver because he only do I, one I thing. Do like too. He's definitely going to end up there. Yeah. Yeah. Categories where you only do one thing, especially like putting a tag in on this list right here where he was only a speed deep threat. Yeah. You're going to end up in that category right there. To me. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you another thing about Gabe Davis. I'm, I'm gonna make it short, cute. Cause I know we broke mm-hmm. it Man, I had this dude on my damn fantasy team, man. His games, this motherfucker ain't even get no catches. Excuse my language, too, y'all. He ain't had no catches. This games <laughs> where Josh Allen don't even look his way. But in big games, I've seen him make big plays too. But you know, Gabe Davis kind of on my lower list because just for that simple fact alone, I, I came in second in every fantasy football. I've ever done. I never want to leave. I'm always second, but but we on our way. But let, let's move on. I'm just talking down. But yeah, I, I, don't, I don't mess with Gabe Davis too tough. I can see that. You, 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 good God. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, like Tyreek Hill. Don't even look his way. Tyreek. Yeah, dog. Oh yeah, yeah. You know where to put him. <laughs> now is is he the best of the best, or is he is he special? The cheater we talking about now. Is he special? It's the cheater. It's the oh, cheater, yeah, man. We, I don't think the game really seems somebody like Tyree Hill, man. Tyree Hill on a go route is is smoking. It don't matter who. You got to get physical with him. I think he's better than Stephon Diggs. I know that. He's so de- at the very at the very bad. least, at the very least, he's a. But I would put him in special, man. I think I think he's special, bro. I really do. I mean, you when, know, when, when give you me think some pushback about, if you don't feel so. But I think he's special, man. When you think about Tyree Hill. Yes, he's the cheater. He can run any route. Uh, if you fool around and let him get by you, it's over. But so, the number one thing, what you see in the playoffs the last two years consistently, if teams press him and get that timing, this is what you were talking about earlier. If you mm-hmm. get that timing off on this guy, that throws off everything with two in him. And that's why you see that they can't win the big one. It's a time and offense. So I, I agree. He's a special type of talent because – He'll boost any numbers of a quarterback. He'll make them look a lot better with that yak yard after the catch, man. I'm trying to tell you. I like the guy. I just think that, to me, with a a guy who's a five, six-time pro bowler, I think he's a six-time pro bowler, six-time pro bowler, former all-pro, he's the cheater. Mm -hmm. I need to start seeing him have postseason success beyond KC. You get what I'm saying? Because they don't win two championships without this nigga, man. Yeah. And you yeah. on a and team mean, that got talent. I mean, we, we can't forget, though, when he was on the Chiefs, I mean, what they did in their overtime, I mean, man, Tyree Hill just special, man. You can't let that cat – you can't let him get in space. You need a crowd mm-hmm. of defenders around him. He's definitely special. Oh, man, Jamar Chase. That's another cat, man. To me, Jamar Chase special. One thing, one reason I say that because of what he did in Cincinnati. A lot of people um, will credit Joe Burrow for for turning that franchise around. Don't get me mm-hmm. wrong. That that season before he got there, Joe Burrow was still Joe Burrow. He got hurt, but um, just a reason why Joe Burrow told him to go get that guy, man. When they got him, boom, straight straight to the Super Bowl. You feel me? And he he's good. You, you can you can hit him on a short route, and he can take it to the crib. Um, you can sit him on a deep route and he could beat his defender. So to me, he's one of these special guys. He's elite. I have him top five. As far as in the game today, top five. And he ain't All no right. lower than two or three. Uh his running make. Uh, 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 uh <laughs> here we go. Every time you look, T Higgins. T Higgins. Give us they, T Higgins. We need T Higgins. Run. They want that boy in Carolina so bad, man. But once again, when you got a quarterback like Joe Burrow and a guy on the other side that demand the attention of Jamar Chase, Mm -hmm. he's he's not special like those guys. A lot of people will probably put him as a A wide receiver. I'm going to put him, me personally, I will put him in B because he's not not a healthy guy. 
Um, a lot of one knock on him is a lot of people say he won't play while he's injured. I watched Jamar Chase down there play the whole season last year injured. And, you know, T. Higgins won his money, and he'll get his money sooner or later, whether that's with the Bengals or with another team. But but just me personally, um, I don't think he's as good as Stephon Diggs. Could he be on the same tier as Diggs possibly? Right no. now, I want I personally want to put him as a as a B receiver. He's a he's a great number two. I don't think he's a number one guy. Nah, the only thing that he got when it comes to put him on a tier with Diggs is youth. Is 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 yeah. he's younger. Yeah. Beyond that, he's not even in the same class as Stefan Diggs in the in the crew that we're steady looking at. And that's why I keep trying to tell everybody, I understand you want this guy, but Understanding that that guy up there in that special column opens up so much more for this young guy to be open. And like mm-hmm. I said, that guy up there, Jamar Chase, is a goddamn unicorn. You better recognize yes, his value and how much he really opens up for this entire offense. When you got a guy that it don't matter if you double team him, he going to beat the double team. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Freak of nature at receiver. But I you digress. Know, you know, right now they're in a dilemma as far as signing T. Higgins. When they talk about mean? signing, yeah, they, they don't know if they're going to sign him or not. You know, they got him on the tag right now. They've been saying he in trade talks, but with Jamar he Chase. asked for a trade, dog. He want out. Yeah, but with Jamar Chase, the, my, my point is they're going to pay Jamar Chase. So we know who the alpha is on that team. You know what I'm saying? They're going to pay Jamar. Jamar Chase will get his money. T. Mm-hmm. Higgins, it's a question mark on that cat. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Um, Odell Beckham Jr. Where is he at at this point in his career? Um, somewhere towards the bottom. Uh, I'm not big on Odell. When Odell Dang. was in his prime. He, he would listen. That's that's one of my favorite wide receivers when he was in his prime, man. Um, electric. Um, the plays he done made, man. I, I, I don't, I don't have much of an argument for Odell. He don't get a lot of time in Baltimore. Um, I don't even know where the hell he gonna be this season, but. Just injuries hurt him, man. You know, I'm glad he got that, you know, that Super Bowl because he was on his way to being a Super Bowl MVP until he got hurt on that field. But um, you can put that cat anywhere towards the bottom queue. You're not going to hit too much argument, <laughs> argument for me. Man. You know, I, let, I let you put the cans where the cans go. But he's still he's still a good guy. He had a good career, man. I, I like Odell a lot. Um, Odell is still explosive. I think. If you got Gabe Davis on this list right here, I think Odell Beckham is better than him, um, but it's not too far off. So mm-hmm. if, if you want to put him in the roster space at the front of C, I really think Odell Beckham needs to be in D. Um, and what mm-hmm. I'm saying with D is, is he's a shell of himself now. He's not yeah. that guy anymore. Still has explosive capabilities, but after his knee has gone out, He's just a short hands type of guy now. And you notice in that last game with in the AFC championship, you didn't see him. He was non-existent. Yeah. It was like he yeah. wasn't even there. He, but he's no longer thing. a difference maker, to, to be real. What about his boy Zay Flowers? Man, I like Zay Flowers a lot. Um I, I can admit that coming out, I wasn't too big on Zay Flowers, but uh he showed and proved this year. He's better than Odell and Gabe. Um I will put him on a level with T. Higgins. Um, mm. It's a small sample size, and I know he's in some trouble now, but Zay Flowers is good in space too. Uh, deep yeah. threat, or you can hit him on the short routes, and he can take it to the crib. I, I like Zay Flowers, though. Now, if he keep his hands off of them women, uh, he'll be fine. Uh, but that's the thing. You know, these young fellas, and, and uh, you got to look at the, the situation he's in is domestic violence always. Mm-hmm. Whenever you put your hands on a woman, you're going to end up on a commission and exempt list, and they're probably going to take him out. Um, and and that's the thing. Yeah. Bro, you got yeah. talent. We just watch you take over a game single-handedly. You have talent, bro. Why yeah. can't you keep your hands to yourself? Yeah, man. I, I thought he was feeling himself in that championship game because – Cause like I said, Sneed, Sneed was on him. He finally got a playoff, and he let his emotion get the best of him and took that penalty. That that hurt Baltimore's chances too. But he, he is a good wide receiver. Look, I, I'm gonna be real with you. This wide receiver uh, list is long as hell. Long as um, hell. Got- I'm, lo- I'm looking at some of them guys. I see some people in some Patriots jerseys. You can take all three of them or two of them. <laughs> and put them boys at the fucking box. 
<laughs> Let's be real. Let's be real. The Patriots, the Patriots guys, they 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 don't got nobody. Uh, Juju doing TikToks. Um, I don't even know who that is, <laughs> and I don't know who that is. So enough said. So we got the Patriots out the way. <laughs> we got the boys up out the way. Uh, what about Tyler Boyd? Tyler Boyd, man, uh, he's just a third wheel, man. I think he's eating off off T. Higgins and Jamar Chase. I will I will put him as ah man, Odell. Um, dang, I will put him. I don't care about Tyler Boyd. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna put B F C. Wherever you feel like it. Um, he's just eating off them boys, basically. You know, he's eating off them boys. Tyler Boyd. He's looking for a contract too. I think he thinks he's a little bit better than he is. But uh, you know, and then he thirty, bro. You yeah, can't do that uh, at thirty. Man. Yeah, man, it's too late to start trying to be a gangster, man. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just start picking some random guys up out of here. Yeah, uh, Curtis Samuel, good old Curtis Samuel, down there with the chips. Yep, put him down there with the legs, <laughs> right chips down there on the bottom shelf. There you go. Yeah, I like. Him, man, he's fast as hell, man. You get him, you get him the ball in space. He can do something for you, but. Uh, regular, regular ladies. Regular ladies. I see them Broncos boys right there. You you get the them boys too. <laughs> I see them Broncos boys there. You get the move with them too. Um, I like Jerry Judy. I like Patrick, but you know, let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest, man. Hey, hey, look, uh, look at Asia. Asia talking about some Shaw Smith, man. I don't. I don't think Shy Smith on this list here. Deservedly so. I don't see him. I don't see him queued up down. There. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy on me, Tim. Hey, look, oh. y'all boys here for the steaks or the burgers, man. We getting the burgers out the way for y'all. Apologies. Them, them actually some good receivers in Denver. I'm not even going to front, man. I touch on them boys a little bit. Those receivers actually solid, man. But when you ain't got no quarterback and, and you know, you play a merry-go-round at the quarterback position, man, it's, it's hard for them guys to shine. I think Jerry Judy will do something in Cleveland, though. I, I like Jerry Judy. I wouldn't have minded us getting Jerry Judy. You know, matter of fact, get, what are you get Jerry with Judy. Him? Man, Jerry well, Judy ain't no bad Jerry Judy. Jer Listen, man, Jerry Judy can run some routes coming out of college. Q, he all right. He's all right, man. Matter of fact, I, 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 put Jerry Judy up there. Like you oh, just said, put all them boys on the bottom shelf because that's man. where they belong at. Man, I ain't going to do my dog, Jerry. I ain't going to do him like Steve Smith did, man. <laughs> move my dog, Jerry Judy, up a little bit, man. Oh, man. Like just just, Boy, just get, get, move him up one, man. Move him up one. All right, all right, all right. Move him up one. Yeah, okay, move, Jerry man. Judy. Boy, y'all do Jerry Judy some type of way. Yeah, man, they just stuck in Denver, man. Them guys, them cats ain't even bad. They ain't like them Patriots dudes, man. I don't even know who the hell that is. I had to look up who them cats is. I'm pretty sure one of them probably like Tyquan Thornton or somebody. But You know, when you a wide receiver without a quarterback, man, if you ain't special, man, you in La La Land. Look at Q. Q still laughing, man. <laughs> man. That's a long damn list, man, you know. So long, listen, them boys, them boys, them, them boys, water, man. Ginger ale, uh, ginger ale, <laughs> lace, pitch, shit, this shit, all right, but it ain't nothing special. <laughs> oh, man, boy, I tell you, boy, my back hurt today, boy. Oh, boy, that'd be funny. You call them boy, ginger yeah. ale, lace, chips. I'm not going hey, there look, with you they, today. They, they put some cats on this. I'm looking at some guys, man. I'm looking. I'm like, man, is he up there? Why he up there, man? Look, Devontae Adams, man. Let's 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 talk Devontae Adams. Yeah, man. Let's talk. Let's talk somebody that's 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 worth a damn. Man, worth a damn. Now, if you put him on special, I ain't got no. I think he's an elite route runner. If you put him on special, I have no argument. I would say he would be the leader of the A class. Just me personally, leader of the A class. Um. We seen him with a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers get busy, and then we seen him with a quarterback like his homeboy Derek Carr. Uh, mm -hmm. Numbers were still still very good. This year it was a little drop because I mean, when you're the only thing on the team on offense, they're gonna key in to try to stop you. When you play the Raiders, just keep Devontae Adams under contain, and you know 
and that's how your game gonna go. But I think he's the leader of the eight class. What, what you think about him, man? You you still dying up over them damn Patriot boys, man? <laughs> you, man you don't know their name. I, I'm I'm finna cash out you some money if you tell me all through them cats' name without looking at nothing. Let me see your hands and tell me who them guys are, bro. <laughs> they got did like that because they've been doing it like that. Man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They've been doing it like that. I don't I don't know who. Look, them boys, them boys had a damn defensive coordinator as their offensive coordinator, man. What the hell Bill Belichick thinking about, man? And they spent some money on them dudes a few years back, man. But but see, when we on Black Cat, y'all always want to put the Patriots over us. That's another thing, too. Them boys ain't got no quarterback. They ain't got no wide receiver. They got a rookie coach that's going to get fired. You know what I'm saying? They, they the Patriots, man. Them boys ain't about shit, man. Uh, the boys 32. The Panthers, all my Panther fans is watching. We not we not the worst team in the NFL. And I keep telling them that on black. We're not the worst team. It's the Patriots, bro. It's the Patriots. It's the Patriots, man. Oh, uh, MDJ we going off, man. Shout out to everybody who just get there. Make sure y'all like the video. <laughs> oh man. Boy, I hurt. Boy, that before they um Justin Jefferson. Let's get him on in there. Oh, yeah. Um, I, gotta, I gotta put him at the top just to move the screen. Yeah, you know, I like Jettas, man. Jettas is to me, if I had to do top five, top ten, I put Jettas number one. Uh last year he was hurt a little bit, but man, his footwork second to none. Um can catch it. No matter who you put on, Jefferson, Jefferson gonna be Jefferson, man. Um, mm -hmm. I think he he's the king at wide receiver, just me personally. Um Consistent, whether it's Kirk, Dobbs, it don't matter who was back there. Jefferson is Jefferson. Best wide receiver in the game to me. What you think? Well, hands down, he is the guy right now. If he continues on the era that he's going to be going on, this cat got a chance to bypass some good names like T.O. and all them guys and Randy Moss. If he keep mm -hmm. doing what he's doing, he got he has the juice to do it. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, they thought it was going to be Odell, but Odell is not the torchbearer. Nah. <clears throat> Here we go. Excuse me. Oh, man. Okay, no, no. A.J. Brown. I, oh, I thought you was highlighting. Hold on, man. For, for, put, can you put A.J. back real quick, if you don't mind? Okay. All right. You got All a right. lot of guys on this screen. You see them them two dudes in the middle with them black Raiders jerseys? <laughs> you know what to do with them. You know, right, right. Hunter Renfro. And Jacoby Myers, you know exactly where to put them. One of them came from, from them guys in the Patriot jerseys, and then the other one just, you know, you know where to put them. That, man, that's Drake London. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Put, put Drake back. Hunter Renfro, the little white guy, he, he over there by Keenan Allen. He right there by Keenan well, Allen. I laugh so hard, I can't see. Wait, where he at? He, he beside Keenan Allen. Um, Right there, by, in between the Chiefs oh, okay, and the right. Yeah, there yeah. we go, there we go. What to do Let me move this cat back. You know what to do with them. Yeah, man. Well, I tell you, boy, I left so hard I couldn't see. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. Why y'all doing the why you why you doing the boys like that, man? I don't even know why they got them guys up there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, yeah, you hear that thing from all the cat? <laughs> boy, come at finish him. <laughs> yeah, man. We we don't go knock them boys out the way, man. I, I see some other ones, but we're gonna let them here. I see some damn Panther jerseys that you know what to do with them boys too. <laughs> you know what to do with them boys too, man. I ain't just gonna get on them boys. We ain't, we ain't got to talk about it. We seen that shit. We seen that shit for for a few weeks, man. Oh man, I might have to add another damn tier list to F. Yes. Oh man, we could we could leave we could leave some of them cats just on the board, man. Just you know, just get <laughs> just hit the meat and potatoes, guys, man. Okay, Adam Thielen. Adam Thielen, where you want to put him? Yeah, yeah, we could talk about Thielen. Um, he's better than Odell and Boy at his age. So a little bit over there, I put him as a right now a B rod receiver. Um, ah uh, B. Yeah, man, the year That's he had last strong, year, I put, I put him at B, man. I ain't going to lie, man. I didn't think Adam Thielen was going to do anything for us. But one thing he showed me, man, he, he positioning and route running, I think he should be B. I yeah. think and he's on the same right, level. Right. I think he's on the same level as the Odell right now and a Gabe Davis. Like, he, he can give you a 1,000 if, if you focalize on him, and that's what they did. Um, But... <laughs> Oh Lord have mercy. He gave you a thousand though. So he can't he can't be with them boys, man. Let, let's let him let's let him live at B, man. 
<laughs> I let him be great. I let him be great. Yeah, let the boy live. Is this my boy DJ Moore? Is that DJ? Yeah, that, I can he finish him. He should be in the badge uniform now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like oh, DJ Moore. The now, they were having this discussion the other day. DJ Moore, where do you see him at? Once again, DJ Moore is better than Adam Thielen. Um, he's better than Zay Flowers, and I think he's better than T. Higgs. I think DJ Moore, legit number one wide receiver. I will put him in A. Um, yeah, thir- 1,300 yards, nine touchdowns. He He's definitely yeah. him. He's a good one. And, and he ain't never had a quarterback. But he about to get what? one this year. And watch what, yeah. watch what they do. Watch what they do. Oh. Mike Evans, Tampa man, I Bay love, Boys coming up now. I love Mike Evans, man. I used to debate one of my friends about him and Kelvin Benjamin, and we see we see how that turned out. Um, yeah. You know, rookie season wise, them boys was on the same trajectory, but Mike Evans been doing it for ten years, man. He got at least be a. He, to me, Mike Evans is probably like number five wide receiver in the game to me, man. Um, may, may, maybe a little bit lower, but I, I really like him, man. Better than Diggs, better than DJ. Um, I, I would personally, I would take him. I just like him more than Devontae Adams. I don't know if he's better, but they they on the same playing field. Definitely A. You, you agree mm-hmm. with that? Oh, I do. Um, okay. When they were talking about him potentially becoming a free agent this year, <clears throat> and I said, he's, he's an actual true dog. He don't want to come to Carolina. Why would he do that? I said, nah, dog. I'm good, good. Nah. I don't see him wasting his time and his talent coming here with us. But yeah. when I said that on the live, you know, our boys getting their feelings. When I tell you, <clears throat> if you say something that's not the way how people see it or, or, or today like it, they're going to get upset, mm-hmm. bro. Yeah, man. You know, Black Cat, man, as Panther fans, we, because Ooh. I said what I said about the guys we got, like you could put them boys at the bottom. So, so any wide receiver that seemed like something that's available, our fans seem to jump at them and just just want them. You know what I'm saying? Because we we ain't got shit. We had DJ and they shitting on DJ, and I was one of the guys. I used to say DJ more than that good, but boy was mm-hmm. I wrong. You know what I'm saying? It's rare. Well, but I'm your water to your well I'm run dry. Sometime. Yeah, for sure. Come on, it's rare. No, your ass be wrong sometimes. Yeah, it, it's rare though, but yeah, sometimes I'm wrong, man. Uh, <laughs> Chris I, I'm Godwin. Just I'm just messing. His running mate, Chris God. I like Chris Godwin. Um, him and Thielen is about on the same level to me. He's actually better than Adam Thielen, probably numbers wise. He's probably better than Zay Flowers, but I would put him as a B wide receiver. Very solid, very solid number two, very solid number two receiver in the league. I really ain't got too much to say about Godwin, but Godwin's a good, solid receiver, man. Just solid. What, what you think? Yeah, yeah, I think he's a, you know, speedy guy. He can get out here. He can run the routes. Short-handed cat, too. <clears throat> I don't think there will be a problem with this guy. You know, anybody should have a problem with him being on the same level of where we put him. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. Let's talk about it. Let's get to them Philly boys. Uh, okay. Brown. Man, I like AJ Brown a lot, man. Um, when when they when they traded him from Tennessee, I won't big on him. I was like, man, AJ Brown ain't. But ever since he's been in Philly with Jalen Hurst, man, that guy's a number one receiver, bro. I like AJ Brown. Um, can make the catches down the field, in in the middle of the field. Um, physical receiver. I, I mean, I think looking at a guy like AJ Brown is what we can only hope and pray that Jonathan Mingo can somehow be similar to. Uh, nowhere close right now, but I like AJ Brown. So, what you thinking on the same level as Diggs and them boys, or below Diggs? Yeah, I think he's be- I think he's better than uh, I think he's better than DJ Moore. Uh, probably better than Diggs last year. Um, D- like I said, D- Diggs just living off his name. I- but I like AJ Brown a lot, man. Um, you-, you think he's somewhere in A, or what? what you- how you feel about? Him? Oh, I definitely think he's in A. Um, like I said, he's a top receiver when it comes to giving giving them hands out. Oh boy, is a physical receiver, man. At the line of scrimmage, he's a tough cat to beat off. Uh, pause. But yeah, mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you right now, if I had a team and I'm starting tomorrow, and I had an AJ Brown, I would take this guy and take him to the next level, dog. I would. Yeah. If I could pay him with my young quarterback, I would. Well, not with my currently young quarterback, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I, I saw you grab the. Uh, you grabbed Devontae, Devontae. Smith. I like Devontae Smith, man. 
Um, called him a Slim Reaper, man. Slick, um, quick. I like him. Good number, solid number two. He's a solid number two receiver, in my opinion. He's undersized and small. I didn't coming out of college. I didn't think he was gonna be what he what he what he was made to be. In. I like him. I will put him up there with Thielen and the boys. He's better than Odell and Gabe Davis, man. I never would do him like that. I put him a little bit better than Zay Flowers. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I think I think he makes tougher catches than Zay Flowers. I, but I like I like the Slim Reaper. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. Terrence Marshall Jr. <laughs> hey man, TMJ, man. Hey, look, man. I still, I listen, man. I still believe in TMJ. Um, oh, you out do? of res- yeah, out of respect, you can put him up there with the Bronco boys, man. He ain't did shit, so I, you know, I mean. I like TMJ, man. I, I really do. Now, as far as numbers wise, last year, I mean, shit. Well, you, you, mm-hmm. I'm surprised you even grabbed him because you could have left him down there if you wanted to. It was a joke, man. It was a joke. Yeah, I know, uh, I know, I know. Allen, <laughs> I like Kenny Allen, man. Um, he had the best <laughs> year of his career last year, and he a vet. I like Kenny Allen, number one receiver, man. Um, you can put him beside. I would put him beside DJ Moore. I like him. I like him a lot. Oh, I like him. Um, I think, and this is just me honest, he always gets his number. He's a big, bulky guy, a little slow, mm-hmm. but he's a sure-handed guy. It puts me in the mind of Vincent Jackson from back in the day. Like I said, he's always that guy. He can run routes, but he's slow getting to it. So that's why he he's more sure-handed jump ball type of guy. Mm-hmm. Um. With that being said, I told you earlier, guys that flourish, and particularly one thing, I put them in the C category. Um, <clears throat> he's a guy that's slow, got short hands, but he can run some routes. He's not the perfect route runner, but I don't think he deserved to be in the A beside DJ Moore. I think he's a tier below DJ Moore. I'm Just I'm me. I'm I'm gonna give you a quick pushback on that. I'm gonna tell you why. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, you know, you know how long he's been doing it, but last year he didn't have Justin Herbert the whole season. Mm-hmm. He fired mm-hmm. the coach. I mean, that team was in shambles, but Keenan Allen stayed healthy. He had 108 catches with Easton Stick at quarterback for a part of that season, man. Hey, look. Good point. He he had number one, man. I, uh, you know, I, I I definitely understand exactly what you're saying, but I, I like Keenan Allen, man. I don't know if you so, want to put so him let me in ask D, you I, another I question. You. Let me ask you another another question right now. Him, DJ Moore in Chicago right now. Who's the number one? Who's the X? Who's the Y? Man, I would say I'm gonna get a nod to DJ. For one, he's younger. Mm-hmm. Um. And DJ could take something short and take it to the crib. Keenan Allen, like you said, Keenan Allen don't possess that ability. You know what I'm saying? Not right now. Not right now in his career. He don't possess that ability. So, so, and by what you said, that would make him then a number two wide receiver. So, I digress. You're right. Mm-hmm. I, will, I will put him as a number two for sure. Mm-hmm. So, that means he needs to come down just yeah. a little bit. But what I do is I put him at the top, ahead of Tyler, I mean uh T Higgins and the group. Because yeah, that's a tough one, man. I tried to I tried to argue for him, but when you break it down like that, because he's literally beside DJ Moore, mm-hmm. I'm with you. I'm with you on that. Yeah. You, 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 you yeah. swayed to, you swayed. to me that's that's the number one problem that was in charge of, in, in, in LA over there. You got a number two disguised as a number one and you sitting here trying to force a square peg into a round hole. Yes, he's going to get numbers because he's the number one primary target over there. But what I'm looking at is just he's not that breakaway guy. He is not that guy that's going to take me to the promised land at the receiver position. And that's why I think Harbaugh was like, okay, I can get rid of this motherfucker. I, I don't I don't see what they're seeing in him. And he's 30, 30 plus. Yeah. So it's like, while I still able to get something from him, and I, because I know I can go in this draft right now and get any of these guys that they can give me the production that he's giving me right now. It's a hey. deep wide receiver. Yeah, yeah, it's deep. Yeah. I mean, 
I'm, I'm still trying to argue for him, but man, when you when you when you give me the DJ comparison on the same team, you know, and, and like you said, if Mike Williams was probably healthy, numbers might was would sway a little bit. So yeah, I, I, I can. I, I can see him on B, man. I, I think B is – the head of B, I, I, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. hmm I'm with you. All right. All right. Uh, I'm going to pick about two more, and then I'm going to call it quits because it, it, the rest of the guys. Uh, Cooper Cup. Um, yeah, we, we'll speed through some of these, man, because we, we can definitely speed through them. Cooper Cup, solid receiver, man. Uh, a little nicked up. Him and, him and Puka, I think, would be solid in the B B category. Him and Puka. I mean, Puka, if Puka want a rookie, maybe we could talk him going up, but him and Puka could definitely be B. And it's, it's still a couple guys up there, Q, um, that I think deserve to be high. Um, just just looking at, trying to look at the list, you got Jalen Waddle, DK Metcalf. Some of them boys deserve to be be on this board, especially if you especially if you made me talk about Tyler Boyd. Uh... All right. Where you want to put Waddle? Solid number two wide receiver. I think we could put him down there with them B guys, man. Um, for sure. Garrett Wilson, the Jets. B, the rookie of the year. Garrett Wilson. Yeah, that's him right there. Him. I will I will put him as a B receiver. Somewhere, somewhere in the mix with them boys. What about our boy uh from the Cowboys? That that right here. Um, Going to the Browns. I like Amari Cooper. Um, he better than he better than Davidson. He, he a he can, he, motherfucker now. I give him that. He is. Uh, and look, man, I'm gonna be real. That's what that's part of the Cowboys' problem, man. They should have just kept him with CD Land, which we got to put him on there somewhere too if he's on the list, Q. But uh, Cob, Cob, it, 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 I can't argue too much. That damn B getting crowded, so we will let him lead the C boys or something. It, it don't matter. I put him in B. I put him in B. Yeah, he good. He's he's good, solid receiver. And then you said C Lamb. Let's look for the Cowboys. Cowboys. CD. Very good. Um, somewhere in the top of A. I de- he, he's a top five receiver to me, so I think that make him special. I was to me, he's a top five wide receiver, man. We had like a hundred and ah, I got the number. Let me let me get the exact number. I don't want to smother, man. He had 135 catches, 1700 yards. One thing Dallas do, they make sure they get that boy the damn ball. They know who they know what they got. Um, he can either lead A or damn near be on special, man. I like CD Lamb a lot. Mm. That to me, it's only three guys that that that, that deserve to be on yeah, that special. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I feel you, I feel you. But like I said, 135, 1700, man, he had a hell of a season. He had Dak in the MVP running, man. I, I mm-hmm. like, I like him, but I, I, I like a form. I see Justin talking about Cooper Cup. Um, yeah, it did happen, but 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 uh, Cup is a system uh, guy. Man. Cooper Cup is a system guy. Um, we think I like Terry McLaurin. Man, listen, man, he's ah! overrated. He, he he will burn you. He's a good receiver. Um, like I said, he ain't. We ain't never seen him with a good quarterback. Um, he's better than Odell and them boys. Um, you know what the funny be- thing was about Peter. about two years ago, everybody who was Panther fans used to say he better than DJ. He better than yeah. what we say. DJ don't have a quarterback. You give DJ a quarterback because yeah. DJ had Sam Donald. DJ had Teddy Bridgewater and them boys, man. Come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, Come um, on, cuz. I was hard on DJ Moore, man. But you know, you like you said, you don't miss your water till it's gone, man. Mm-hmm. You never you never know what you got till you lose it. So DJ, DJ was a good one. Yes, sir. Um you say you saw some guys that deserve to be on this list. Uh, okay, um, did you get DK DK Metcalf from the Seahawks? Is he on there yet? Hold on, let me get your boy right here. Um, Hopkins, where you want man, Hopkins at right now? If I had to pick between Hopkins and Odell, I'm gonna take D Hop, man. You know, I put him, he probably could be in B, man. But is that Hopkins? All them boys look alike. Nah, you had D Hop. Uh, looked like you had D Hop to me. Yeah, that looked like D Hop. Well, you want him? 
Uh, he's better than Odell. I put him in front of Odell Beckham. Seven and four seven. When you a dog, you don't need a QB. That's right. You don't need a QB, but damn sure ain't gonna hurt you. <laughs> yeah, he's right about that. <laughs> damn sure ain't gonna hurt you. I ain't going there with y'all today. I ain't going there. Damn. Um. See, they should have. You know what they should have did on this queue? Just probably mm-hmm. put like the main one or two guys from the teams. Man, they got they got like the Detroit boys up there. Man, why why them boys up here? Man, like St. Brown. Yeah, St. Brown. Solid, but the rest of them cats, man, they ain't, shouldn't even be on the damn list. Um, Saint Brown, uh, he's B, he's B, he's very good, though. Very good, very I mean, the, good. The, the nigga made a pro bowl, though. Oh, yeah, for now, sure. Where's the San oh. Fran? Where, where, where D boy at, man? Where D boy at? I'm the, there you go, oh, they down there. Um, Brandon, man, I'm are Unpopular opinion, man. Debo is not better than Brandon Ayuk. Unpopular as hell. Now, now, one thing I will say, Debo told him he didn't want to run that ball and shit like he was doing. I think that took away from his game. Um, but I would put Debo in B. I probably put Brandon Ayuk in B. But unpopular I think opinion. Debo should I, I be think the start of B. Um, like I said, I, I think Brandon Ayuk better than him. That, that's just me. But you know. Is if we talking pure wide receiver, route running, that's just me. That's just an opinion, though. You know, over time, I can stats probably Debo gonna beat them all day. But Brandon Ayuk to me is better than Debo Samuel. I ain't gonna give you no pushback on that because Brandon Ayuk had the numbers this year. Like I said, yeah. when you have a breakout campaign the way that you do, now granted, everybody keeps telling me their quarterback is a game manager, but when you have multiple guys getting the numbers that they did, come on, bro, them ain't no little numbers. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna leave it there because it go open up a can of worms. Uh, go go get my boy DK man, DK Metcalf from the Seahawks. Uh, he at the bottom, very last, very last at the bottom. That boy, that boy is the number one fucking dog. I think um, he had another one, man. They just don't throw the ball to him enough, man. When you got somebody like him, man, you should do what Dallas do with CD Lamb and just no, no matter what, you force feed him because he can make plays like that. To me, he's a number one receiver. I would put him at A, but you know, numbers wise, if you put him in B, I can't argue. You know what? He 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 has the speed for a guy his size to be so damn fast. Yeah. But and strong. Okay, well, what did he do this year? What was his numbers looking like this year? Like talent wise and physical ability, man. He one of the top receivers in the damn game. He just like I said, I don't know if it's Pete Carroll system. You know, he like to run the ball. And, and and spread you out, but but DK Metcalf a dude, man. He one of them guy. He had eight touchdowns, eleven hundred yards, seventeen yards a catch. He had he had good numbers. I can respect that. Definitely one of them guys, man. Yeah, yeah. He he he, he definitely there. Brandon Ayuk and all them boys. So yeah, they're right where they belong at. Um. I said we go grab about two more of these cats and we go call it a day. See what you got. Um, shoot, man, if y'all see somebody in the chat, man, it's worth some talk to us. But um, I see Shakur, I see somebody in Miami. I don't know who the hell it is. Them Jets boys, Bateman, don't care about them. Uh, I guess you might could do Nico from Houston, maybe, or Rashi Rice. And, you know, Drake London, man. People, you know, I know Red Swan watches a lot. He probably wants us to rate Drake London's light skinned cat, the third row. Um, you know, that Swan guy, man. And I think Drake London could have a good season, but I just, I, I haven't seen it. You know, he's never had a quarterback either. But I think Drake London probably be somewhere C, maybe, maybe low B. But, um, as far as like the Drake main London. guys, the first, he the first one in that third row. Yeah, the third row, no matter how you put it, it the first one. Yeah. Light skin, light skin Moses right here. Yeah, you remember the other, so you kept you kept forgetting his name. I mean, like I said, it's it's easy to forget when you, forget when you when you when you stuck without a quarterback, you know what I'm saying? He's talented, but hey, I would put him somewhere along with them guys, man. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't put him with them. I don't I don't think he's B, I think he's C. Talent wise, he probably be, but I, I would put him in C, man. 
Or you gonna piss off a lot of your NFC South fellas? Yeah, that, that's mainly for Swarm, man. That's for Red Swarm. Ah. Like that. Like, what about these New Orleans them. boys? Michael Thomas, uh, Olave. I think right now the only one that's worth some is probably Olave. Um, I would I would lead him off and see. Um, you could argue he's B, but I will put him at the head of C right now. He's very good, very good receiver. Very good. Yes, sir. To me, uh, you know, is there anybody you see that you say right now has to be okay? Them Houston boys, Nico Collins, yeah. Tank Dale. Um, I think the quarterback elevated them because, um, like I said, Nico actually looked like one of them guys, man. Tank Dale, before he got hurt, looked like one of them guys, man. Wherever you put them, I would put them on equal playing fields, wherever you put them at, whether that's the, you know, in C or B, I would put them on equal playing fields. I don't think either one of them is the number one guy. I really don't. Hold on the screen. I put them in B. Because they were solid guys last year. Mm -hmm. um, a man for the Colts right here who had, uh, I think it was 1,100 yards. They re-signed him to that big money. Oh, yeah. I like Michael Pittman a lot, too, man. Um, Pittman I put him on the same him, him on the same playing field as Olave. Hey, he mm -hmm. probably better than one of them Houston boys. You know what I'm saying? I, it's, it's, it, it's tough. It's a tough one. But he, he's another solid guy, man. Mm. And then I'll say out of the ones that's left, I'm going to take a quick skim from the bottom row on up. Is there anybody that I feel? Okay, what about Addison from Minnesota? Um, and once, once again, I think he's a two. He's a number two receiver. I don't think he's a number one. He would draft that high. With, with, with hopes of with hopes of being there. Um I will I will put him in C. I yeah, that's why I put him. That's why I put him. Yeah, I, I will put him in C. Well, I'm gonna tell y'all like this right here. We got a full house on receivers. You see the yeah, special man. Justin J. Uh you see Tyreek Hill, Jamar Chase. Like I said. C.D. Lamb in the crew, Devontae Adams, Mike Evans, Brown, Stephon Diggs, D.J. Moore. That's almost like our consensus top five, top ten on that. So you already can see we yeah. think those three right there up top at the top three receivers in football. C.D. Mm -hmm. Lamb and then Devontae Adams. Oh, it could be and interchangeable Mike with Mike Evans right there. And, and I mean, you know what, too? That's my, like you said, mm -hmm. that's, that's my top five. Like wholeheartedly, I would probably say – Quick order, Justin Jefferson. Uh, for me, Jamar Chase, mm -hmm. Tyreek or CD. Um, I'm, I'm gonna say Tyreek, CD, and then I, I would say Mike Evans personally. Them, them, my top five guys. Works for me. And uh, shout out to everybody in the chat. You see how they did it? Well, Thielen is the only guy that made the B level for the Carolina Panthers. He said he put he said put a Mara up there. I think we end up putting him up there, uh, D. Um, he is good, man. He ain't he ain't up there with no special cast, but he's good. He's a good receiver. You, I think you already got him on there. Oh no, nah, we didn't. We didn't. Nah, he right here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely. I'm glad he caught that. Yeah, yeah. I'm wrong. It's good, man. There you go. I thought you grabbed one of them Detroit boys. You might have grabbed the wrong one. I grabbed the wrong nigga. Then that's probably what it was. Oh, yeah, he in B. Yes, he's in B. Yeah, yeah, he's in B. Amon is already he's definitely in B. Definitely so, in yeah. B. Yeah. Yeah, so don't worry, D. We got you. Yeah, he's definitely a B receiver. We got you. Anybody else that – oh, DJ Chalk. You know, DJ Chalk was worth a damn. Where y'all going to put him? <laughs> you, could, you could put him – you could put him down there. <laughs> you put him down there on the bottom shelf of that yellow bag of tater chips, man. You put him right there. <laughs> <laughs> the boy needs some hot sauce. He needs something to go with him, man. Yeah. yeah. He regular as hell. Yeah. Regular Damn, we all go do DJ Chalk like that, for? Man, DJ Chalk. You know, like, like uh, <laughs> who else on that list, man? Like Ridley, Rashid Rice, them guys could be somewhere in the mix, too. But 
But man, they, they, I, I don't know. I don't know why they. I don't know why they put all them receivers up there, man. Like I said, they got some cans up there. I put Ridley. Uh, Ridley is a C to me. It's just a lot of shit going on with him. Got a lot of shit with him, man. The boy needs to stay up off them damn the damn DraftKings and shit, man. <laughs> no, I know. I know them boys making some money, boy. All the people they know. But. What about Van Der Scatner and all them boys? How, how you feel about them? Man, Rashid Rice is the only wide receiver that's out of them that's worse. <laughs> the rest of them boys ain't doing nothing, man. Um, we're trying to make sure we ain't miss nobody either. Like them Green Bay boys, I like all of them, but I, you know, they, they still just, young you know, though. Just regular guys. I like them Green Bay boys. Yeah, they young, um, man. So, well, I'm just this... I'm scanning through there. I don't see nothing else. What about Arizona? What about Brown? Uh, uh, what about that cat they were telling us to trade for? I like Hollywood Brown, man. I do, I do like him. Um, if we got him, I wouldn't be mad if we got him, man. He just one of them receivers that that if you get him the ball in space, he's good. Like I said, I like him. I think he's solid. I know I I think more of him than you do. I think you done told me one time before you don't think too much about him. Yeah, that boy ain't shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I done said it about as nice as I could. Yeah. yeah, that boy ain't shit. Hey, you talking about that bottom shelf of potato chips? Yeah. Oh yeah. You go. You might need to add a little shelf to the another shelf to that bottom row. Cause boy, it's a lot mm. of them. Yeah. So like, if you see like that bottom row we got right there, you know that's that's your regular tater chips, your ginger ale, bottom shelf liquor, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> whatever you need to call them. They ain't, they ain't them boys ain't about nothing for real. Oh my god, that is too funny. Well, I tell you like this right here. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Your boy MDJ has been kicking it. Your boy yes, Dub Q has been kicking it. We live here on uh, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff, man. So oh, do yeah. us the favor, showing us that love over here, man. Y'all already know what time it is. Look, we're going to chop these videos up and get them right back up out there to you. All right, y'all.